we take a deep dive on the premium developers are willing to pay to have a building downtown, but property there hasn't always been this hot. News 2's Mark Kelly spoke with a historian about key decisions that resulted in success. The money has come here locally, nationally, and internationally to build buildings here. But downtown Music City hasn't always been this world famous. Why to the 1960s? And Nashville historian David Ewing says many people started giving up on downtown. Shopping, churches, people, all left for the suburbs. But the biggest kind of final nail in the downtown coffin during that day was when the Grand Ole Opry left their historic home at the Ryman in 1974 and moved to a brand new building. For two decades, downtown sat relatively stagnant, but the 1990s ushered in a new mayor, Phil Bredesen, and a renewed vision. If the public sector invests in downtown, the private sector will soon follow. Nashville built new stadiums, a library, art museum, and the Country Music Hall of Fame. Bredesen called these buildings civic furniture. It was the cart before the horse, so if you build it, they will come. We even built our arena without a professional sports team. You would never do that today. The 2000s brought the cranes, the TV show, the tourists, and the title, the It's City. The developers' dollars poured in, land prices went up, and developers had to start thinking outside the box to find land. The prices, you know, the prices have driven people to build on smaller lots, but higher. In Nashville, developers build tall buildings because they pay a premium for the land. Yeah. And the way to get their return, you have to build 20 stories, 30 stories, 40 stories. So that's happening. Those new glimmering towers now dwarf the LNC building, which was once one of the tallest in the South. Ewing says he loves the history of old Nashville, but he also says we can't go back. We must accept a growing population while also making sure Nashville stays affordable for the creatives who make this city shine. This is a musician that lives on Lower Broadway. It's the artist that creates something. And we want those people to stay here because we might be missing the next big star of country music if that person can't move here and afford to live here. Mark Kelly, News 2. Nashville built the Ryman Lofts in the 2000s to provide affordable housing to artists and musicians. David Ewing would like to see more affordable housing investments in areas of the city where people want to live.